up, y'all? It's popping this deep. I'll be right to a Nardwar video. This is Nardwar versus Tyler the Creator 2019. So they had an episode they did back in 2015, I'm seeing on the side. And I remember seeing clips from that, and it was pretty funny because Tyler the Creator is such a character. Uh, so it was funny the things that he was saying to Nardwar. So we're going to see, you know, what new info Nardwar pills up on Tyler this year. So let's watch. Here we at Neptune Records, waiting for Tyler, the creator. Here I are. Hey! You sexy dog. <laughs> Our third <laughs> time together. Yes. At Neptune Records. Our oh, third. And check out Neptune. Yes. Igor on vinyl. Good shit. Let's escort you downstairs. Okay. To the private room. I'm drunk right now. Oh, uh, where Lord. did you come from? Yes. <laughs> Your hotel. <laughs> Today. Sleeping. Yes. The back room. Yes. Have you been to a lot of back rooms, Tyler? No, I fuck in the front. Uh, do you love the back room? Look at all the 45s. Yes. He is sound crazy. Watch your step, daddy. Oh, you're very Shut good, up. good at navigating <laughs> in blow light. Yeah, I have good eyes. So here we go. And you watch your step, daddy. Left around the corner, <laughs> and we go into the actual record room, the backstage. Not where we ignored all the dumb shit these rappers be saying to him. Third time. By Southwest, second time we was in Canada. I did that festival where I think like, fucking, what's the DJ dude that be crying and shit? He dropped McLaren's. Not DJ Snake. Uh, Zed. That be mouse. crying. He was sad and some shit, and then now we're here. Oh. <laughs> Like who are you tyler the creator uh also known as thick dick daddy 27 um shut some of my friends call me toil i've been called mr turkey a few times uh yeah tyler welcome <laughs> to vancouver british columbia Thanks, canada and right off the bat i have a gift for you first prince i ain't never been that fucking stone. buff get up out of here that's hot this nigga buff right <laughs> <laughs> in honor of Jaden. That's fire. Yeah, I just left tour with him. Or he just left tour with us. That nigga at home now. This nigga, look how thick this nigga is, bro. What the that hell? <laughs> so, Tyler, you just mentioned Jaden left the tour. Why is What's he it so like bad? on tour? Like, you do a lot of biking. You were going to do biking today, but it's raining. Yeah, it's raining. We were going to, uh, we were going to bike. We bike around every city we go to and get lost. And we was fucking with deer in Utah. It was some deer. The niggas were staring. It was cute. How do you find out where to go? Oh, uh, we don't. We just get in the car and I try to drive to wherever it looked like it's a lake or just like straight up mountain. And yeah. What can you say, Tyler, about this artist right here? Bad. Bascom. Bad Bascom. Who you sampled for? What? Oh, what's you good is the drum break. Yes. Wow. That's crazy. You're deep. This nigga look like Maxwell. This nigga look like 88 Keys. That's crazy. <laughs> he do look like what Maxwell. You them for Eco. Uh, just that drum break is just. That is funny. I just wanted to dance. If you see the live show, I dance crazy when that song comes on. So uh, that's what made me pick it. Cause it just I want to see like, him live. The groove is just tempo. Speaking of drum breaks, I wanted to ask you about this drum break right here. The Winstons. Amen, brother. Oh, wow. Yeah. What can you sell this break? Pigs. Yeah, um, damn, you went back. The most famous hip-hop sample, pretty much. Yeah, no, seriously, um, that song sucks. That's a good-ass break. <laughs> I wanted to make some Portis Head type shit, so it fit perfect for that. I'm happy I have this. I don't have none of these on vinyl or anything. Where do you get your samples? Um, From a folder? Uh, I, I just lurk music a lot. Like, I wake up every morning and spend two hours listening to music that I've never heard before, so. Oh, wow. I think it's great, Tyler, that at one time you had lawn signs. Lawn signs! Yeah. And snowflake ice cream. Yeah. What do you think about that? Ice cream and lawn signs. Uh, nigga, I don't know. It's cool. I like it. I made it. <laughs> Now, would you ever take the step and have right here a Justin Bieber pillow? Oh, shit. Would there ever be a Tyler pillow? Oh, I'm going to take this home, though. It wouldn't be the first time I laid on him. Papa? <laughs> uh, uh, notice, he's very daring, isn't he? Some hair as well. Yeah, you could pluck it. 
He was a baddie. <laughs> I was curious. That you is so weird. Wigs. There is some wig theme, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, wigs are funny. I like them. What do you think about this gentleman right here? He is all wigged Zane up Willie? right now. Zane from One Direction. This fuck nigga. <laughs> He's wigged up right now. He look trash either way. <laughs> what do you think about wigs? Like, doll wigs. I've never seen it, so this nigga put a wig on a doll. They're special. <laughs> Wait, did this wig come with it? No, they're special. If you pull it out, it's actually a company. No, actually, if you pull up the wig, it's actually a company that makes wigs for dolls. Oh, that's fire. That that's is fire. weird. That's fire. I'm going to take a photo with this on later. I swear it's going to be fucking... <gasps> with the fucking uh, cowboy hat for the lizard. It's a fucking rap. Who do we have here? <laughs> Tyler, is so can you weird. Can you there? Kelly... With Wyatt, a cowboy hat for a And uh, Tinta. In Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, we are in Canada right now. And speaking of wigs, I have another gift for you right here. It is an inflatable, an inflatable wig stand. The stand o -matic. Fire. This nigga about to get all the Igor wigs. Oh, after the gig, you can put it on. It's like a dildo for Monsters, Inc. or some shit. <laughs> it looks legit. You have a wig stand. Yeah, I have a few. That's a portable wig stand, a stand o -matic. So it'll just Nigga, just travel with me. This is crazy. This is the craziest butt plug. <laughs> it's actually a stand o -matic. It really is. It's, it's, it, no, it's legit. He is Look, fucking up this dude's job. It's a vintage Look, wig stand. I don't believe you. It doesn't say butt plug on there. Thank <laughs> you, nigga. But it's something you could use. Oh, Would my. you use a stand o -matic? Mm. I haven't used it at all. It's complete. It is used. No. Stand matic It's cool. The stand matic cool. I'm not using it. You could fit this. And you are Tyler? Uh the creator. Or or dad or Dick Dick Daddy 27. What was that 20 room castle that you stayed at? Like 20 rooms? A castle in Italy? Yeah, a friend of mine had a uh he has a castle thing out there that is uh Pretty next level. But 20 rooms? What is each room That's like? And did you look at each room? I looked in every room, including the maid corners. What was in the room? Uh, shit. Just shit. Is that in square circle? Here we are, Tyler, looking at... Oh, yeah, it is. It's in square circle by Stevie Wonder. Uh, could you please explain? You have an amazing eye, Tyler. Yeah, I knew this side. Uh, it's a song on there called Never Your Son. That's like number five, I believe. And it's uh, it's really good. It's one of the albums like in the eighties where you can have that. Oh no, I have like two copies I think at home. But it's uh, he started using like uh, more electronic. Uh, is that Gary Wilson or Newman? He started using more uh, more electronic like sounds and stuff during the eighties. So it was a different sound for Stevie. It's good stuff though. You have a great eye, like to be able to pick out records. Uh, yeah. Have you done a lot of thrifting, crate digging? Uh, here and there, like, <clears throat> depending on the city we go to, I'll try to check out, like, what they have. I found some good stuff. What city was that with that fire-ass store? <clears throat> no, 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 no. It was, like, the early one. Were you there? Oh, Minnesota. Minnesota has this, some sick stores out there with, like, good shit. It's, the, it's, it's, the, it's usually the cities that you think don't have shit that has, like, fire stuff. Please warn Yeah, I wouldn't think Minnesota. Wiener. Nigga, uh... No. <laughs> I have a gift for you, Tyler. Right now, please warm my wiener. Oh, shit. Got, no. Our Crumb cover art. Wow, Robert Crumb. Uh, I actually was just reading a week ago his uh, books of dreams that he just put out. And you can see right there, please warm my wiener. That is a wild ass fucking title. That's crazy. Fuck out of here. Exist. Warm my wiener. Existed. And that's for you. Is that something you could? You can't just say that to anybody. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe Robert Crumb's really good though. I, I love his stuff. Good shit. Cause you make my earth. Oh my god, nigga, you are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> quick, quick, and I have a gift for you right here from a Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. A record, a song poem from 1969 called "The Earth." Quick. The earthquake. For you to sample. Okay, that seems hot. Leo Jung, that's a good name. A rare 45 from 1969. This is sick. Did you listen to it? I did, indeed. It's spoken word music. Amazing. Vancouver content. Vancouver. Sexy as fuck. I like that. The Sidekick 2 video, Jasper. Mm-hmm. Locks it. Yes. What do you remember about that? He was called Bon Bon? 
Yeah, that uh, I wish he was here right now. We literally just dropped him off. He uh, that was when me and Jasper would upload like crazy videos when we were like 15, 16, and um, we broke a few sidekicks. We broke one that we never uploaded the video. It was tight. Jesus eats Jello. I guess with Obama. Is that something I uploaded? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. On the block set. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's a black and white video. I have on a red beanie. Tyler, the creator, winding up here. My TV stays on the Cartoon Network. Fuck that. I don't know, but I feel like that's a uh, freestyle lyric. Twilight. Shit. Pray. Oh, from Bastard. That shit turned 10 in two months. And what I was thinking, like, fuck that Twilight shit. That's pretty intense. Oh, yeah, that uh, movie's is not my type of cup of tea. Exactly. It's a good but this book, Twilight though. right here, I love the you book. love this Twilight from 1981. <laughs> what can you say about 1981 Twilight? Uh, still loving you and Pains of Love, uh, Twilight. So it was this guy, uh, was he a janitor? I don't know what he was, but very talented guy. And he played all the instruments himself made in his basement, except for, I think, one, which was like, it was either the drums or the bass or something. Got another guy to just come knock that stuff out. He wrote everything, and they uh, they ended up making two albums. And it's really, really fucking good. Like, I mean, everything I love about music from just, What's like, melody, mean? it's a lot of love songs, good chords, weird drum pockets. And it's not perfect. Like, it's not... The skill set isn't the best, but I think that's why I like it because the amateur shit allows them to not really have a ceiling and like, mm, um, that makes sense. It's good. It's good. This album influenced a lot of the music I make. So hooray for Twilight. Yeah, both of these. That's fire. You're hot. <laughs> You're hot. And you are Tyler. Uh, the creator. Tyler, what do you like to eat? Raleigh's restaurant. Oh, nigga. Uh-uh, nigga, we just stopped by Rally the other day, so don't <laughs> shake your fucking head, Lionel. Me and this nigga Lionel would drive all the way from Hollywood. Lionel, Lionel just we, rally. listen, listen, <laughs> we would drive from motherfucking Hollywood all the way to Hawthorne, California, El Segundo, Hawthorne Boulevard, <laughs> to go get the motherfucking barbecue bacon cheeseburger, and that shit was what, two forty nine, bro? Nigga, they stopped selling that bitch three months ago. So anybody at Rallies, if you could bring that bitch back, I'm telling you, I've you never have had a fucking it. Good. Stop fucking playing with me, nigga. <laughs> I air that shit out, nigga. But is there only Rallies? What else is there? Like Rallies or nothing? What I? Oh, you got me fucking twisted. <laughs> you are Tyler, Daddy. Tyler, what can you say lastly about this gentleman right here, Paul Weller and the Style Council? Wow, yeah. Uh, Style Council's good. S Jesus fucking Christ. They're tight. They didn't get their... Uh, I don't know if they got their due or not, but um, UK shit, uh, white dudes, definitely liked soul music, but probably didn't grow up with it, so when they made their music, it was this weird mix. Um, they have a song called Long Hot Summer, fucking great the uk is like they was doing some good shit in the 80s they had Damn, Sade popping the out, style council everything but the girl like freeze like level 42 like that was such a crazy time in music and i don't think anyone uh i feel like people don't talk enough about it what was going on out there and if we go a little while back lastly a gift for you the jam which is paul weller's band before the style council wow kind of punky no, yeah. So a lot of the guys uh, who was in a lot of those weird like jazz fusion bands and stuff, some of them like come from like punk backgrounds and like then they went and switched it up when they went um, when they started new stuff. Uh, this is crazy. And that's for you. Thank you. Sound effects by the jam. Polydor, such a great label. Put out a lot of the best Roy Ayer shit. Were you anti UK for a while? You didn't sample any UK stuff, or you still love UK? Uh, it wasn't on purpose, but UK, uh, I just did three shows back to back there. I'm back in and, uh, great parks, uh, some great looking people. I have friends out there and, uh, I will say, uh, some of the worst fucking food I've ever had. It's no, something, don't season that. anything, <laughs> beans and tomatoes for breakfast, but yeah. you know, y'all do y'all thing. No rallies. 
No fucking rallies. Ain't no rallies bro. in the UK. <laughs> anything you want to add to the people out there? I think that's only in LA. Me. I'm not sure. I'm not exactly. Lando, sure. anything I should add? Well, this is our this is our third time, our third one. I hope somebody put all the screenshots back to back just to see how shitty I aged. <laughs> Why should people care about Tyler, the creator? Why should people care? Because I'm daddy. Well, thank you very much, Tyler. Like, Keep on okay. rocking in the free world. And do 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 do. Fuck the free world. Almost do 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 do. Is there anything else I got to say? I didn't say in any of the interviews. Do 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 do. Rhythmically, do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do do. Stop. <laughs> so weird, bro. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Him and these pink socks. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now I'll be standing like that for the longest. I could do this all day. Hey, Tyler the Creator, he has such a pure spirit. Some people may think he's over the top and he does too much, but I feel like he's being his authentic self. Like, he just don't care. He gonna say whatever he feels, and I appreciate that about him. This was a really funny interview. I liked him a lot. Let me know what you guys thought, though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!